This is question number 6 from GS paper 3 of mains 2022 examination. Each year a large amount of plant material cellulose is deposited on surface of planet earth. What are the natural processes this cellulose undergoes before yielding carbon dioxide, water and other end products? Uh, see plants ke leaves, twigs, fruits, seeds etc. ground pe girte rehte hain aur samay ke saath inka decomposition hota rehta hai. In plant material mein cellulose ek main component hota hai. This question is about natural processes of decomposition of cellulose yielding carbon dioxide, water and other end products. Now let us see the answer. Each year a large amount of plant leaves, twigs, fruits, seeds etc. are deposited on earth. Cellulose is a main component of all these plant materials. Cellulose is a polysaccharide of glucose units. All the cellulose containing plant material that is deposited on earth undergoes microbial decomposition. In this process it is decomposed by bacteria and fungi. These bacteria and fungi secrete cellulase enzyme which breaks down cellulose into small chains of polysaccharides, oligosaccharides and then into monosaccharide that is glucose units which when further undergoes aerobic breakdown through series of steps produces carbon dioxide and water. Fungi like mushrooms also decompose cellulose plant material. They grow on decaying plant materials. They secrete enzymes that decompose the cellulose containing plant material. Cellulose digestion and decomposition can also occur in anaerobic that is in the absence of oxygen. So it can also occur in the anaerobic conditions. Termites mostly feed on plant litter that is fallen leaves, bark etc. Their gut that is their intestine has cellulose digesting bacteria and protozoans. In the gut of termites the cellulose undergoes anaerobic decomposition producing methane, carbon dioxide, hydrogen and volatile organic acids. In this way microorganisms play important role in decomposition of cellulose plant material.